Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. We will be reviewing the Armstrong Compass R circulator range. We will be looking at the installation and operation details. Here we see the Compass R 2035 design envelope circulator. There are two other models in the range, the R4045 and the R2075. An interesting feature of the Armstrong Compass R is that it has an easily replaceable mechanical seal. This allows the product to have an extra long life. The model number of the Compass R denotes the maximum flow and maximum head capability of the product. So for example, with this R, the 20 stands for the 20 foot of head that it is capable of generating at maximum at zero GPM. And the 35 stands for the highest flow capable at zero foot of head. It's worth noting that the label on the box shows you the product code, the part number, and an image of the pump. So you know exactly what product you're getting. In addition to that, it'll show you a replacement chart showing you which pumps of other manufacturers that the Compass R provides an energy upgrade for. In addition, around the box, you'll see on the corner a performance curve, so you'll see exactly what flow rate and head and what control modes are available. This is the installation and operation guide for the Compass R. It's inside every box. It's also available to view online or download. Now, Let's review the installation and the setup of the Compass R. Here we have two Compass R installed and ready to go. A particular point to make is that the flange dimension of the Compass R is exactly the same as the SNH three-piece constant speed circulators that Armstrong make and several other manufacturers as well. That means that you can do an easy replacement energy upgrade by installing the Compass R directly into the same flanges as before without any pipework modifications or having to drain any water out. Now, let's take a look inside the terminal box. Over here on the right, we have the power cable going in, 115 or 230 volts. We have the ground, we have the neutral, and we have the live terminals there. On the left hand side, we've got the speed control. If you wish to control the speed of your Compass R using an analog signal from say, a modulating boiler, which will generate a zero to 10 volt signal, you can lead the cable in through the conduit here and directly onto the far right two terminals. Now, let's put these pumps to work. The pump is ramping up. You'll see here that the auto light is lit up. That's the default setting for Compass R. If the unit had been connected through its 0 to 10 volt analog input, as I showed earlier, the input light would have lit up. As it is, we're in auto. And as such, we're showing the GPM and the brake horsepower absorbed on the top row numerals here, alternating one to the other. If the unit was to show an alarm, the alarm would also show on the digits there. Auto is fully automatic. What that means is that it will adjust its speed on a short-term basis to suit uh, valves opening and shutting in the system. It will increase the speed and the pressure at high flow with all the valves open. It will reduce the speed and reduce the pressure as valves start to shut. It will also self-adjust through the season or through any changes in the system and, and adjust its setting to suit a revised circulation system that it's feeding into. Other settings available for the Compass R are the constant speed setting here. By pressing the left button to reduce or the right button to increase, you can increase or decrease the speed of the pump. Pumps with a 20 foot head capability, there are three speed settings on Compass R with 40 foot head capability, there are six speed settings. The next control mode along is the constant pressure setting. If you press that button, the pump will operate at a constant pressure irrespective of the flow. You can increase that pressure setting by pressing that button. You can decrease the constant pressure setting by pressing that button. The last available setting is the quadratic mode. It's like the auto mode, but it operates to a certain number of fixed curves. And once again, on the 20 foot of head setting, you've got three speed curves to look at. And on the 40 foot models, you have six speeds to choose from. So you press that and then you adjust up or down using the left or right buttons. That's the control modes for Compass R. The performance curves are included on the box. So you can check that for details on settings. 
Emptying the system of water and running the pump dry will generate an error 3 code on the Compass R readout. Page 10 of the installation and operation manual explains this issue and advises corrective actions. The Compass R controls will stop the pump in order to prevent seal failure. Should the mechanical seal leak or another part require repair, then it is very easy to take the Compass R controls and mechanical assembly out of the pipework. It is attached by a single V-clamp here. So let's do it now. Undoing this V-clamp is a lot quicker than undoing eight or 10 bolts around the uh, circumference of the casing on a conventional design. Once the V-clamp is slack enough, we can slip it over the flange, pulling the back out, revealing the impeller and the seal behind it. Replacing the seal is very easy to do thereafter. Let's put it back together again. We just push it back in. Make sure the controls are level. Slip the clamp back over and then tighten it back up again. Taking the head off of a Compass R and putting it back together again is a very good quick procedure, minimizing downtime and maximizing uptime. We're going to refill the system, get water back into the pump, energize it, and now it's coming back into operation. We're showing flow rate in the head. The error is now cleared. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the Armstrong Compass R circulator.